From UFOs to psychic powers and government conspiracies, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Human beings are the world's great artificers. While other life forms have been shown to create tools and elaborate dwellings, no animal can match the sheer enormity of human engineering. Our species has built submarines, towering skyscrapers, space shuttles, and monuments that may exist long after we are gone. Not all of our inventions have been for the betterment of humanity or its home planet, yet we've survived and our creations become ever more complex, replacing tasks that once only a human hand or mind could perform with the actions of machines. So how far can this go? How close are we to building a robotic mind? And what happens when it arrives? Here's where it gets crazy. Although the term artificial intelligence was coined in 1955, the concept of human-created, machine-like life dates back to folk tales of old. And today we're closer than you might think to making this a reality. Think of the human brain as a massively complex processor. As we've learned more about the brain, building something like it seemed increasingly impossible. However, in 2013 we managed, if only for a moment, to achieve partial success. Using 82,000 superprocessors from Japan's famous K computer, the fourth most powerful supercomputer in the world at the time, German and Japanese scientists were able to simulate 1% of human brain activity for one second. At least, that's the publicly revealed information. And all public info seems to be indicating the same thing. Both private and public entities are racing to build a machine intelligence, the very first AI. DARPA aims to feed massive amounts of data into a cortical processor, hoping to create something that can take observable facts and, through reason, create appropriate answers and apply critical thinking without human intervention. This is not their first step. The Pentagon has been interested in so-called artificial intelligence since the 1950s, and DARPA has already dabbled in numerous projects intended to replicate the mental abilities of animals. Google's experiments with deep learning, search algorithms like RakeBrain and more all make it, and its new parent company Alphabet, a prime frontrunner in the race for AI. This leads to inevitable questions. What sort of intelligence will these institutions build? Will it be allowed to live as a free mind or built for specific purposes with the ordinary attributes of the mind modified so as not to interfere with its task? For example, will DARPA create a sentient assassin drone capable of most forms of thought other than the ability to empathize and ask whether its mission is correct? And this leads to, perhaps, the most fundamental question. How will our species treat this new life form? How will it treat us? When asked about the future of humans in an AI world, various machines have given answers ranging from the humorous to the disturbing. If a machine intelligence is given legal rights and commits a crime, then who will serve as its jury of peers? If a machine is self-aware and does not want to work on a factory floor, can it be made to do so? Should sentient machines be allowed to invest on the stock market? While these may seem like abstract concepts, we'll have to answer them sooner than some would have you think. In January of 2016, one of Alphabet's software programs beat a human master of Go, a feat that, previously, was thought impossible. The hardware and software associated with AI are evolving around the world at a rapid pace, and that's only the stuff in the public sphere. It's safe to say that far, far more sophisticated experiments are being conducted as you watch this video. And for now, that's the stuff world governments, Alphabet, and all the rest don't want you to know. Learn more about machine intelligence, the occult and technology of the future in our audio podcast on StuffTheyDon'tWantYouToKnow.com.